I love making colors videos and coming up with all sorts of different unique color palettes for you girls. Um, and bridesmaids dresses are the biggest place where you can incorporate your wedding colors. So today I am going to put them all together in one video for you. Hey, hey, blushing brides, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. Congrats on your engagement. I'm Kyle James. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Birdie Gray. I am an affiliate for them, um, but they are not sponsoring this. I choose to feature Birdie Gray because they align with my values and I love their company. I think that every dollar that you spend on your wedding and in life in general is a vote towards the companies that you want to see succeed and the kind of world that you want to live in. Um, and that's especially true with weddings. So. I like to feature companies and products whose companies I really believe in and um, who align with my values. I just love that Birdie Gray is female founded, female run. Um, they have extremely beautiful, high quality dresses for under $100 and that's amazing. And they just released a bunch of new colors that I'm super excited about. So I wanted to use those as some inspiration to put together some palettes and some different bridesmaids looks for you ladies today. Before we get into that, Bride Society members, be sure that you go check out the bonus content after this video. I saved my favorites just for you over in the bonus content section of your Bride Society membership site. If you aren't a member yet, but you would like to be, I will link the information for that down below so that you can check it out. Um, I did mention last week that I am going to limit the number of brides just so that I can be super hands-on with you girls and really help you one-on-one one um, as you work through your planning process so 2021 brides be sure that you go grab those spots because they are filling up really fast okay let's get into the video the first color is slate blue oh my gosh I am obsessed with this new color from them I think it looks amazing on every single dress and then it also looks great on every single girl as well and whether you just wanted everyone to be in this slate blue color and you just wanted this to be your main color or you wanted to do some sort of mix and match it just really looks amazing um, no matter which direction you're gonna take this by the way um, you'll notice that I label every single one of the dresses I'll be sure to link every single dress below for you so if you see one that you like just keep notes throughout the video so that you can go shop after you're done watching this and send those links over to your girls as well so let's look at a few different palettes using this color. The first palette I have for you is slate blue with dusty blue and then greenery and a white or a very light neutral. This palette is absolutely stunning no matter what time of year it is you can it's really easy to pull it off um, and it's super popular right now so there are tons of options like in the decor department invitations um, also in bridesmaids dresses obviously there's just so much you can do with this so let's talk bridesmaids dresses here with this palette specifically so you'll see um, I have the grace and the Jane both in slate blue so you could just pick one or the other and have all of your girls in slate blue and all in the same dress or you could do all the girls in slate blue and then do mix and match styles between the different dresses. I love Birdie Gray because they make it really easy to do mix and match whether you do the same style with different colors or um, different styles with the same color. All of them really look great together so they make it really easy for you to do this if you don't want all of your girls in the same dress. And even if you do want all of the girls in the same dress and you really want that classic bridesmaids look, it looks amazing as well. So the next option for bridesmaids dresses with this color palette is to do mix and match colors. And so I love the dusty blue dresses. I think they are so classic and so beautiful and I think they look amazing next to this slate blue. I think you can really also choose pretty much any style and just do these two colors and it's all going to look really really great together. You can see I have four different styles here and then d the two different colors and it just looks great the girls standing next to each other. Um, I think this way it really allows your girls to pick the style that they like and pick the color that they like and really feel their best on your big day. 
It kind of avoids the bridesmaid dress drama as well. But you can see these colors next to each other just look classic and stunning and I love them. And then if you did want more variety in your bridesmaid dresses, you could also do some of your girls in the sage green dress as well. If you wanted to incorporate more of that color up in your ceremony and in your palette. So you could do just the slate blue and sage green and have them mix and match that way. But I like having a dusty blue in there as well if you're going to do this because I feel like it kind of helps the transition between the dark blue to the lighter greens. Um, but that's totally up to you, totally your choice. And then another palette option with this slate blue is to do the slate blue with the dusty blue and then a darker navy with that. I just love a great shades of blue palette and then you can see how amazing that navy dress looks alongside those slate blue dresses as well. So with this shades of blue palette you could do slate blue and navy for the bridesmaids dresses or you could also add in a dusty blue to this as well. So have a few girls in slate, a few girls in navy, and a few girls in dusty blue. Um, and then if you wanted, you could have them all be the same style, just those different colors. Or you could totally mix and match the styles and the colors, and they just all flow together really, really beautifully. Just a side note on picking a color palette. If you have a color that you really, really love, but you're really having trouble finding other accent colors to go with it, doing a Shades of palette is the best and easiest way to go. So if you have like a certain color of violet or dusty rose or whatever and you just can't come up with other colors, just do one shade darker and one shade lighter and then add in a neutral and you can put together a beautiful palette that way. It's pretty hard to go wrong with that. And then another variation on this palette is to do the slate blue with the navy blue and then add in a silver or a different metallic. I really love Birdie Gray's silver dresses as well. So you can see these two combined with the slate blue dresses, they just look really great next to each other. They flow, they look beautiful, and then you can kind of get a more, I don't know, formal or more wedding-y feel having a metallic in that color palette as well. This can also really brighten up your palette if you're worried about it being too dark with the darker slate blue and then a darker even navy blue having a silver and then a light white or something like that will definitely help you brighten that up. And then another fun little side note on this, Birdie Gray does offer maternity dresses in some of their styles. So that is really great because you can still have everything flow even if one of your girls is super pregnant. <laughs> the next color is Marigold. Guys, look at this color. I am obsessed. It is so beautiful. It seems kind of folly maybe at first look, but there are definitely so many directions you could go with this and it would look great in any season. All right, so let's put together some palettes. My first one is to just really highlight the marigold to do marigold plus some light neutrals, light tan neutrals. So you'll see from the inspiration, which by the way, I will link all of the inspiration photos below. So if you see something that you like, you can look into that further or add it to your Pinterest board. Um, but you can always screenshot these um, color palette pages as well and add them that way if you'd like. But anyway, looking at the inspiration on this, it they did more of a fall inspiration. So they have like, so they did the whites and tans in very neutral, but then they did add in some fall colors as well. So this would work in any season. You would just do the marigold plus neutrals and then touches of colors of the season. So touches of fall, touches of spring, touches of summer, etc. And then you could do this palette and just have all of the girls in marigold. I think that would look really, really beautiful. Or the other option, you could add in some light gray bridesmaid dresses as well. And then another little variation to this palette, you could do the marigold with grays and neutrals, but add in a copper element. I love doing copper and then maybe even blush as well. Um, that is a little bit more fall-like, but you could totally pull it off in any season depending on your floral and stuff. Um, but I love adding in copper and then doing Moscow mules in those copper mugs. I think that's really beautiful. There are also a lot of different rentals that you can get in copper, like copper silverware, copper chargers, and stuff like that as well. 
And then here is that palette um, with a more blush neutral with it. Instead of just doing the gray, copper, and white, you could do like a gray, copper, and blush. And then this next palette is going to incorporate some of those colors that we talked about before. So this is marigold, slate, and silver. Or you could do marigold, slate, and gray as well. Um, just depending on if you wanted a metallic or just more of a light gray color. And stick to those neutrals. Um, this palette would be beautiful in any season. You could just change up the floral depending on the season to make it work for you. And I love this as a mix and match. Um, you can see I have a lot of the girls in the Jane here. So if you had like the just the different colors with the same style, you can see those first three girls on the left are all wearing the Jane. One in slate, one in marigold, and one in light gray. It just looks really cohesive and really beautiful together. And then if you wanted a little bit lighter variation of that same palette, you could do the marigold gray, dusty blue, and a white color as well. And here I have those, I swapped out those slate blue dresses for the dusty blue. And I think that looks really great as a mix and match as well. All right, next I have a little bit more of a bold palette for you. Um, we could do marigold with jewel tones. So you have like more of a burgundy cabernet color, the navy, and then an emerald green. And that seems kind of weird, but when you see the bridesmaid dresses together, look how beautiful this is. I think it's especially stunning for a fall or winter wedding, um, but it could definitely be pulled off in the summer as well if it was more of a formal event. The next color is terracotta, one of my favorites. Look at this color. It is just stunning. I think it can be perfect in literally any season. Um, the different dresses I have here are the Devon, the Jane, the Grace convertible dress, and then also the Kaya. Um, I think that this color really looks great no matter which style you choose. You really couldn't go wrong. But I especially love the idea of doing this um, where each girl's wearing a different dress, but all in the terracotta. I'm so excited to show you these palettes and this inspiration. Look at this. It is stunning. The first palette I have for you here is terracotta with that, like, burgundy cabernet color, and you could do a blush or a dusty rose and white. Look at this inspiration. This is like dreamy. I love, love, love these colors together. Um, they went with more of like a fall deserty feel, but I think you could adjust the floral and stuff to make it what you want it to be. Um, and I love those like gold metallic accent pillows and stuff in there as well. So this would look really pretty with some gold accents. Um, like I said, I love just the terracotta dresses that just that one color by themselves and you could either do the same dress or mix and match styles depending on the look you're going for. And then if you wanted to, you could also do a mix and match colors with the bridesmaid dresses and do the terracotta with the burgundy dresses. I think that will look really beautiful too. And then, like I said, this is more of like a fall winter palette, um, but depending on the floral that you put with it, you could really pull it off in any season. And then if you are liking this but you're really into that dusty rose color, you could also add in some dusty rose dresses as well. So do the terracotta, cabernet, and dusty rose mix and match and they all look just stunning together. And if you wanted to, you could even add in a blush with this as well. Um, especially if you have several bridesmaids, you can do a lot of different colors here. Um, I love the blush next to this color palette. Too. I think that would look stunning up there next to you at the altar. And then if you're not really feeling the pinky tones with this, um, you could do terracotta with just neutrals. So you could do terracotta with like a light gray, maybe a little bit darker gray, and a white. Um, I have this shown with the light gray dresses as well. Mixing and matching neutrals is one of the easiest ways to create a palette as well. Um, if you love the terracotta but you don't want full everybody in terracotta but you don't want to incorporate more colors, just adding in a few neutrals here and there is a great way to create a palette as well. 
and then a few more palettes for you. Let's go back to that slate blue that we started with. Look how pretty this looks. I just am amazed by how well all of their colors and all of their dresses just go together. They make it so easy to create such a beautiful, cohesive bridesmaids look. Um, so here I have the terracotta with a slate blue and then a light gray, and you could do white as well. Um, if you didn't want to do the gray, you could do more of a tan color, or um, any sort of neutral that you want to do would look great. And I think that helps kind of tie together all of the dresses. It might be a bit much to just do slate blue and terracotta, um, but just adding in that one or two neutral dresses really just ties the whole look together. And then let's tie back to the other color as well. I love the terracotta with the marigold and a light gray as well. I think this is a really, really pretty palette for spring or summer. Obviously, you could pull it off in any season depending on your floral, um, but it really pops and really looks beautiful together. And then once again, adding in that neutral bridesmaid dress, just that one or two light gray dresses will really tie the whole look together. Like I said, it might be a bit much for it to just be marigold, terracotta, marigold, terracotta on your bridesmaids. Um, but just adding in that little neutral there, look at like how amazing it pulls the look together for you. The next color is a little surprising and not something that you typically see, but I love it, especially for a more formal wedding, and that is black. And here are some of my favorite black dresses for you. Um, I have the Grace Convertible dress up on the top left. Yeah, I, you've probably noticed how different that one looks depending on how you wear it. Um, there are several different ways to wear those convertible dresses, and they look completely different but still cohesive because they're the same dress. And then we have the Gwenny, which is definitely one of my favorites, the Kaya, and then the Spence dress as well. I think the Spence in black might be one of my favorites, especially if you were going for a more formal bridesmaid's look. Another thing I want to quickly point out is a lot of the styles of dresses that they have come in a curve size as well. Um, so it's very, very inclusive sizing. Um, and then I mentioned they also do maternity dresses as well. So you could literally have all of your bridesmaids in the same style of dress, but actually have it fit their body type, which I think is really, really cool. All right, so let's look at some palettes with these black dresses. So first I have a black with a Cabernet and maybe a lighter shade of red and then a white. Um, I really love that donut wall back there. I think that looks really beautiful. Um, so you could do the black and red, but just have all your girls in black dresses and maybe incorporate the red in the floral. Or you could do some girls in black and some girls in the Cabernet color. I love the idea of just doing like black and white with greenery, uh, maybe a few different shades of green as well. I think this keeps it really, really classic and really beautiful, um, especially if you have a very elaborate venue that you don't want to decorate a ton. Um, just doing black and white with some greenery is really, really classic and beautiful. And then another beautiful direction you can go with this is back to that black and cabernet. We could add in the marigold and do like black with jewel tones. And if you like the jewel tones but you're not feeling the marigold, you could cut that out and maybe do an emerald. In and then another beautiful option, we could do black with the dusty rose. And then you could also do some girls in blush too if you wanted a little bit more variation in your dress colors. I will link all of the dresses that I talked about in the description below. If you are a Bride Society member, go shop the links in the bonus content. I'm going to have all the photos there along with the links so that it's a little bit easier for you to shop. I can't do that on YouTube, unfortunately, um, but if you are a Bride Society member, then you can easily shop the photos and the links over there. And then I also have a few more color palette suggestions, my favorites, um, over there for you as well. So head over there and go grab your bonus content for the week. Also be sure that you do your weekly check-in in the Bride Society community on my post. Also be sure to do your weekly check-in on my post in the community. I wanna hear if you've already picked your colors or if I can help you pick out your colors. So head over there and let me know where you're at with that and what you're working on this week. If you're not a member, like I said, go sign up in the description below. The spots are limited, especially for 2021 girls. With those 2020 brides all moving over, everything is just gonna fill up so fast. So be sure that you grab your spot. And I'll see you over there. Happy planning.